In our last video, you saw us taking Eleanor from the high bay all the way down to the coastal blast, process of blasting her, and now we got her back. And uh, we were very fortunate we didn't get rained upon. We had rain bands come in about an hour after we put her back in the high bay. Well, now she's over in the booth in here, and today we're going to epoxy primer. The product we're going to be using today is Exalta 2580CR. It's an epoxy primer with zinc chromate put into it. That's what gives it that green kind of look. Normal epoxies are just gray or value shaded from zero, which is white, to nine, which is black. So the higher the value shade number at the end of the product, the darker it is. So 2580 CR, corrosion resistance, is what we're gonna be using. Let's go ahead and get this mixed. Two parts epoxy primer one part catalyst and we're going to use a 3M PPS which means paint preparation system okay I'm going to go mix this up a full quart of epoxy primer I'm only doing one coat on the car because I'm going to be going back in and doing a lot of body work so what I'm trying to do is put an initial tack coat down so it does not rust it's going to inhibit all the rust issues that are going to happen Okay, we are set. This is the Exalta paint suit. Um, this is the breathable one. I was talking about this in a previous video. The Tyvek ones actually retain the heat and they retain your moisture, which is great, but this type of polyester actually lets it breathe, so I'm not gonna sweat to death. That's pretty slick. Okay, I'm gonna go over a couple areas. This is our final clean and a Santerra white. I have filtered air on the wall. I'm going to blow her down one last time. All right, everybody, the next thing is I'm going to do a spray out, make sure my pattern's good, pressure's good, and then start applying. We are blown down. We blew down earlier, but we just did a real quick one now and just had to wipe a couple of areas that I saw that when we were handling the vehicle, uh, we saw a couple areas of entrance. Can't have that. It transfers right in and causes us hell later on. Don't want none of that. We're going to lock it down. Get a coat down, one coat, and that's it, and we're out.
Okay, I gotta reload. I used the cord up. As you saw, I'm just doing an initial light coat, non-specific order in terms of painting. No technique, I'm just trying to put it in safely and be done with that. Um, that way, once I get the coating in, um, I can work off of it and do what I need to do. And then I can put a full coat in if I want to on the areas I can complete and I can 2K out of it. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done, a lot of areas that need to be uh, gone over on this particular build. So that's why I'm only doing one light coat just to stop and inhibit the metal so I can make sure nothing happens to it. If you ever use 2580CR, do not use it in a confined space without PPE. If you notice, like when I was shooting the frames, I didn't really have much PPE, but I had so much good airflow, I didn't have any problems. Well, I'm in a confined space, the air can't push out, so it's sitting in there. That's why this is on, so nothing can touch my skin. Doing real good so far, let's continue on. Okay, we're going to do the back panel. I'm going to try my best to get the camera wherever I can. It's not easy, one man show, one phone. <laughs> let's go. to keep you on the work area. Um, I'm also might kill the camera with the spray. I ramped up the spray a little bit so I can push the panel. Everybody, uh, we are oxy primed. It took three full quart applications with a 1 4 tip at 7 psi running to get all the nooks and crannies and upside down. If you notice, I was spraying upside down. Well, it's easy to do with a PPS system, it's just a bladder bag, and the suction of the gravity feed just pulls the paint right through. So I can go any which way I want and keep the spray pattern. Now, when the bag starts fully collapsing, it slows the rate down because you're going against the squeeze of the bladder inside the cup. So it slows it down a little bit and I ramp it up and I push it to rest. So everything is good. Um, that's about it. 
our next step, getting into fixing all the pinholes and the work and straightening things and getting my left and right symmetry perfect, make sure everything else is good. Our preliminary uh, go over with the car is excellent, so um, we're not going to have too many issues. It's going to be a very cut, um, cut and dry process. Anyway, uh, thank you for tuning in, checking us out. You can't hear it in the camera, but it's raining. <laughs> hey, Glenn, it's raining. Everybody, thank you for your time. Take care.